Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me. For today's video, I am doing a makeup basket and I like to do these periodically. I think they're a fun way to switch up your makeup and uh, you know, just kind of rotate through product that you're either trying to finish or maybe you haven't used in a while. So um, I'm going to share with you guys the product that I'm going to be using for maybe the next couple weeks. I uh, like to kind of switch it up every couple weeks uh, or just whenever I feel like it. Um, and I did not select like a product for every category so I like to just kind of have a little bit of freedom but I like to also kind of focus on certain areas I guess if that makes sense. So like I said um, I don't have a product for every category but um, I'm going to start off with the primer that I'm going to be using and I actually really like this but the reason why I put this in my makeup basket is because I don't think this is going to work for me in the summer. But this is the Becca First Light Priming Filter and I really really like this especially if I'm using a more of a matte foundation. Um, I find that this kind of, because this is more of a radiant um, primer, this kind of makes it a little bit more dewy or glowy if that makes sense um, and not quite so heavy on my skin. But uh, yeah, I really do like this. This is just the travel size. I think I'm like somewhere in this region but a little does go a long way with this product so I'm going to continue to use it because like I said I don't know if in the spring and summer that this will work for me just because I do have more combo oily skin. The foundation I'm going to be working on, um, I don't plan on finishing this anytime soon because I did just receive this from Influencer. This is the Dior Forever Foundation and this is what it looks like. The shade that I received was 1N, um, it used to be known as 010 or 10 and it does look like it's a little bit like dark for me but once you like blend it into the skin it does kind of... I don't know, it's somehow like just to your skin if that makes sense, I don't know. But this is a matte foundation, it does have sunscreen in it so this is really nice if you are going to be in the sun and whatnot. Um, so yeah, this is what that looks like and it does come with a pump which is super fancy but uh, yeah, I am going to be uh, pairing the primer and the foundation together for the next couple of weeks. Moving on to some brow products, I have the Ulta Beauty Ultra Slim Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. This is what it looks like. Um, now, this is very creamy and I like this brow pencil, it's fine, however, I find that I prefer my Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil and I find that this can be a little bit harsh for my brows or it's a, like a little bit too deep for me but I can make it work. I typically use this on the outer like perimeter of my brows and then I go in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz to fill in the rest. Um, so I do like this but uh, yeah I do want to kind of focus it in and focus on it and try to use it. Speaking of brow products, this is the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel, I think this is what it's called, in the shade Dark Brown. I bought this um, from Anastasia, the like uh, website, <laughs> um, and I just chose my shade on there, and I should have known, I typically wear medium brown um, in the brow wiz, but for some reason online it looked just a little bit like more ashy or something. So I went with dark brown and this is like a hair too dark for me. Like if I'm not careful, I, I can go a little bit crazy with this and make my brows look super dark and not cute. But, um, if I take my time and everything that this does work wonders and this is what it looks like. I would, I will say you do need to set this with the clear brow gel. Otherwise your brows are going to go every so I think by pairing um, the two of these together it will be a good combo because like I said um, I do like them both I just would like to get some more use out of them. A mascara that I'm going to be focusing on is the Buxom Lash Mascara and this is in black as black. I'm wearing it on my eyelashes today. You probably can't tell. I did just open this up and this used to be like one of my go-to mascaras. Um, like I said, I've only used it today and I still do like it, but I just want to get some use out of it. So I thought I would throw it into the makeup basket. 
For eyeshadow palettes, I have two here and because I'm so indecisive and I love eyeshadows and playing around with makeup and all of that jazz. So I chose two of my Anastasia palettes, the first one being the Rivera palette. This is fairly new to me. I bought it at the same time I bought the Dip Brow gel or whatever. And this is what it looks like. This is so pretty, especially for the spring and summer. I have been doing um kind of col more colorful looks, I would so I've been playing around with this and I've been doing more colorful looks than I normally do and if I remember to put some of my looks that I've created I will pop them in this video otherwise you can just check out my Instagram um, which is just beauty by Mary Kay I will put a little like uh my username I guess here if you want to go follow me on there or check out some of my looks but this is the palette absolutely stunning I, yeah, I just think this is a beautiful palette and I want to continue to use it and play around with that. A, another great addition to that palette is the Norbina palette. This is one of my all-time favorite palettes. I use this all the time. I love the shade Celestial right here. Absolutely beautiful. And then just the shimmers in here are insane and um, I feel like both of the Rivera palette and the Norvina palette both together or would pair beautifully together so that's kind of why I chose them for the next couple of weeks. Moving on to some blush, um, I chose uh, Benefit Coralista because I am trying to pan this. I will show you where I'm at. This is like one of the last few non cruelty free products in my collection. So this is where we're at. One of my all time favorite blushes. I have since found other things that I like better, but this is still one of my all time favorite blushes and I'm, you know, figure for the spring months, it would be absolutely stunning. I did pull out my Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow little kit here. This used to be one of my go-to palettes, especially in the spring and summer. This middle shade right here is a, supposed to be a blush, but I mainly use it like as a blush topper. So what I'll typically do is put down like Benefit Coralie and then put this over top and it looks stunning. The highlighter and the bronzer are nice. The bronzer can look a little bit orange on me if I'm not careful um, but I'm mainly gonna be focusing on the blush in this little trio here and uh, yeah I love that and I think it'll go very good with or very nice with the um, eyeshadow palettes. A few highlighters I'm going to be pulling in. Um, the first one here is by Ofra. This is the Ofra Be Beverly Hills highlighter. I love this. It's so, so stunning. If you are looking for a blinding highlight, this is a really good one. Um, I don't know. I just think all the colors together look beautiful, but I like to kind of go in with some of these shades on their own, like this white pearly shade, like the golden color or the like, yeah, kind of golden color. You have more mauve -y kind of pink shade. I don't know. I just think this is a all-around good highlighter, especially if you were traveling and you needed a highlighter. You basically could just bring this and you would have like every single shade of highlighter you would, could possibly need. Another highlighter that I'm using is going to be the Anastasia Loose Highlighter in Snowflake. I bought this on my birthday and I love this so far. This is, it, initially when you put this on the skin, it looks like it could be like glittery, but once you blend it in, it's just absolutely stunning. There's no glitter whatsoever. I love the packaging of this. I cannot get it on for whatever reason. Um, so I'll deal with that later. But um, yeah, I love that highlighter so much and I would highly recommend it. This is kind of random, but I do actually want to finish this. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is every single time I do my makeup to set my face, especially if I'm looking a little bit cakey or the foundation's a little bit too heavy for my liking that day. I just douse my face in this and it just melts everything together. So, love this. There's like the tiniest bit less. So, this should be gone probably in the next couple weeks for sure. And then finally I have some lip products here and I love lip products as we all know so um, the first one being the Tarte, uh, I think this is the Color Splash line, I'm not really sure but anyway the shade is Surf's Up and this is just a mini here. This is what it looks like. I love this shade and I love the color. I will do a swatch. It's just kind of like a mauve shade but it does have a little bit of orange to it and I don't know. I love this shade so so much and I would highly recommend the formula it lasts a long time on my lips and I adore it this one is 
the Too Faced La Creme lipstick. I don't know if they still make this line or not. It's been a while since I've checked to see if they still have it, but this is particular shade is in Honey Bear. And again, it's kind of like that same shade as the other one, except this one's a little bit more sheer and um, it does kind of have, I don't want to say a metallic finish, but it, it's not metallic, but it has a more, I like guess, shiny finish, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely stunning and smells like lemons. Uh, I find that this one does tend to move around a little bit on my lips, so I do have to line my lips. I always line my lips regardless, but uh, if you are into it, if you are thinking of picking this up, I would definitely recommend lining your lips with a uh, lip liner just because it will kind of move around if you're not careful. And then finally, I have two lip glosses here. The first one is so small and I'm surprised that I have not finished it. This is the Buxom uh, Full On Lip Polish in the shade Dolly. I got this. I don't even know where I got this to be honest with you, but there's like the tiniest bit left and I've just been neglecting it so I thought I would throw it in here in hopes that I will finish it. And then this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is the Marc Jacobs uh, Enamored Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Rebel Rebel. I love this formula. The scent of these is great. Uh, it has a minty scent. Um, it's not like plumping like where the Buxom ones are like a lip plumper. Um, this one just has like a minty scent and taste to it, I guess. Uh, would highly recommend it if you're into that, but if not, you probably wouldn't like it. But uh, yeah, I would just like to get some more use out of this because this is one of my older lip glosses. And uh, yeah, that's everything for this makeup basket uh, for the next couple of weeks. Let me know if you like these types of videos or if you'd like me to switch it up and do some other types of videos and not so much the makeup baskets anymore because I still like doing them. But you know, I want to do what you guys want me to do. So thank you for watching. And if you haven't done so already, please take a moment and subscribe down below and follow me on Instagram. Got a Facebook page down there if you want to keep up with some of the looks and that I create using these palettes and just looks in general. I am also a huge coffee fanatic so I post on my story all the time about what Starbucks drinks I'm getting so um, yeah I, I don't know I just like sharing my little bits and pieces of my life on Twitter and those sites down below so if you want to keep up with me that's where I will be but um yeah thank you for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video thanks so much for watching talk to you later bye